Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Taurus for the week starting the 23rd of January. A lot going on this week. You might feel a little bit emotional on the 24th when the Moon and Saturn are conjunct in your primal sector, squaring Venus and Chiron in your outgoing sector. So basically, you are looking at ways to express your freedom, but there may be some primal emotions or other people's kind of view of, of what it is if you're truly free. And part of you wants to be free to connect to people. But if you're a typical Taurus, it may be that you've cooked your own goose, as we say in England. Because part of you likes security, may even like to be a little bit possessive or likes loyalty. And you like to know what you're doing and, and you like to have your routines. And, you know, you've created that and it's great. But all of a sudden, you're feeling a bit freedom loving. You're feeling that you want to change. You might be mixing with new people. And it could be that some of the people that you have those routines with are now threatened by your sudden desire for freedom. So have a little bit of compassion and work things out. Whenever Chiron's involved, it's always a deep soul healing. And certainly you'll be meeting people that have a very big impact on you. We also ha on the 28th have a new moon in your position of career. There's big changes coming for you around your career and you're opening up to all sorts of kind of ideas about what that means and where you can go with it and, and um, in a way the, energetically it's very good because you feel like you've changed and you don't know why you've changed or perhaps there's been a change that's been forced upon you but either way it does not matter because you're feeling free as we go into to 2017 and on the 28th we're a month in and you're like, yeah, you know, I could see a shift coming. I could see new possibilities when it comes to career. And I've got a brand new energy around that. Now, Mars is entering a position for you also on that day, which is well, it's a little bit tricky because it makes you kind of a bit daydreamy, makes you go within. It makes you try and work things out, makes you very thoughtful rather than acting. In fact, you have a little bit of a lack of boundaries you might be tempted to drink too much or eat too much or do the things that indulge to escape in a way. You feel like sort of um, thinking and tuning in spiritually to things rather than doing things. And that, well, you know, I wouldn't say it causes you problems because it's a natural cycle, but um, do something with that energy. If you do have a kind of gut feeling, write it down, pay attention to your intuition so that you're making the most of it. Also, a secret may be revealed this week. Now, Mercury and Pluto are joining forces, and this is creating a, some shift connected to communication. And for you, you are maybe making a decision or talking to someone about other cultures, about travel, about a new philosophy that you might be exploring. But be careful that you don't lay an ultimatum. When Pluto is involved, it often means radical change and radical shift. And the energy this week is all quite deep and intense. So think about things before you deliver an ultimatum. Anyway, have a fabulous week. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening. And please, if you haven't yet, it'd be great if you could subscribe, share, like, or comment. Take care. See you next week.